Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing a tech review. Yay! No, I'm kidding. I do enjoy doing the tech reviews. Um, but, uh, but I was looking forward to this one. This one I was really looking forward to. I ordered the GoPro Hero 8 Black back in October when it became available, even though I had the 7, just because I'm a big fan of GoPros. I, I think they are a terrific camera. Their quality every year, you know, gets more impressive. The, uh, the functionality of it gets even better. The Hyper Smooth on the 7 was absolutely insane. So when they announced the 2.0 on the 8 Black, I I'm thinking to myself, how much better can it be? But they did. I mean, it, seriously, you don't need a gimbal at all when it comes to these cameras anymore. They are just phenomenal. But what I also looked forward to with the 8 Black was the improved video quality, which it has, um, the improved internal audio, which it has with the, uh, the big old microphone underneath the, uh, the lens. But it also became a bit more modular. Um, GoPro announced this camera with some mods, even though the mods weren't accessible when it came out in October. They were saying December, but that got postponed a bit. The, the light came out already. That's been out for a few weeks. I didn't get it yet. I'm, I'm going to get the light. But what just came out or was announced, and I just got it in today, the media mod. This is what I was looking forward to the most. This is the one GoPro accessory that I could not wait to get. Um, it's the housing for the other ones. Uh, when the when the view back screen comes out, you can pre-order it next month in February. It'll probably be at the late February or, or March. We'll see. But uh, but you need this housing now. As impressed as I am with the GoPro's audio, how much they improved it with the 7 and the 8, I do like using an external mic. I, I think the GoPros get a bit of a bad rap with the, with the internal mics. As a matter of fact, I've seen some YouTube uh, videos going over it, showing the external and before and after. And honestly, for whatever reason, it came out more tinier. And I, I'm not trying to say they did it on purpose. Yeah, I am. They made it sound like a, a, a the can with the uh, the string, whatever. It just it, it didn't do it any justice, and I don't think it was right. I'm gonna do a six part audio test on this. I know, crazy, right? Six part. It's not gonna be a very long video. Um, let me explain. Test it with it straight out the box, straight out the camera, like I'm doing right now. Then I'm going to do some post adjustments because let's face it, we all do some kind of post adjustments on you know color grading when it comes to the video or something you know the audio is the same thing we do some kind of post adjustment as needed uh tone up the vocals to, to overplay the uh the background or maybe it's coming a little too low whatever so i'm gonna this is it straight out the camera i'm gonna switch it to some post adjustments so you can hear how that sounds then i'm gonna add on the mod we're gonna do the audio straight out the mod without any post adjustments, then post adjustments. And then the last test is gonna be with the wireless go, straight out and then with the post adjustments on that as well. But let's talk about this, uh, this media mod. So the media mod, as you can see, has a shotgun style mic in the corner. It's also got a couple of cold shoes. It's got the big rubber insert with the USB-C. And on the back, you have the small HDMI, the 3.5 millimeter audio adapter and the USB-C. You have the power button on the side and the uh, recorder button on the top. So I, I've been looking forward to this one. I can't wait to see how it sounds. And I'm really looking forward to the next mod that comes out in February also, the viewback screen. Now, is it a necessity? No, it absolutely isn't the viewback screen, but it's something I want. I always consider GoPros to be kind of like, uh, I don't know, if you compare it to a gun like a shotgun, you just kind of point in a general direction and you're definitely in the picture. The field of view is, is so big and it's so awesome when it comes to the GoPros that you really don't need that view back screen. But I do want it because there is some times when, you know, you, you want the, uh, the screen to be a certain placement. Maybe you want something particular in the background a certain way, or I want to throw something up in the corner of the video and uh, I want to have that amount of space and stuff like that. So I, I am looking forward to the view back screen as well. All right, anyway, on to the testing. And if the six pot is too much for you, I feel like it was something that's uh, justified to me. But just yeah, go ahead, screen forward, backwards, or whatever on my video. All right, this is the audio without any post adjustments straight out the camera. Okay, so now I have the post adjustments going on. I don't know how it sounds any differently because I haven't done them yet. Maybe it's a little louder. Maybe uh, the highs or the, or the bass is a little bit better, but... This is what some post adjustments to what I feel makes the, uh, the video, I don't know, 
ease of listening better. That didn't sound that great. The, <laughs> this is what makes the video uh, sound higher quality. How's that? All right, so now the moment I went for, let's add on the audio, the media mod, and see how that sounds as well. Okay, so now we are switched to the media mod, and yeah, I kind of ran out in a hurry, couldn't wait to try this out. Which, by the way, I wanted to test it in the outdoor environment because, let's face it, the GoPro can be used indoors, but it's made for outdoor activities. So I just figured the best place for me to test it, considering all my videos are outdoors and it's where I'm going to use it anyway, is in the outdoor setting, so here I am. It required a firmware update. It wasn't bad, though. I did it out here. Uh, it only took about five extra minutes, and uh, the update's done. They do give you some audio mic setting features to adjustment right now i have it in stereo which means the shotgun style mic on the media center is picking up the audio from both sides which is ideal in very low to no wind situations you do have the option to adjust the back or just the front depending on whether you're vlogging or filming something or whatever right now i have it in stereo i'm going to switch it over to uh to the front facing so it's you know more of a vlogging setup for what i'm doing right now let's see how that sounds Okay, so now I have it concentrated to the front speaker on that shotgun style in the media mod face towards me. All right, so this is part three of the test. Now I'm going to do some post adjustments uh, just to try to make it sound as uh, high quality as possible. So again, I don't know how much sound difference is going to be because again, I, I didn't do the post adjustments yet, but it might be higher, lower or somewhat, but here it is with the post. So now the next test I'm going to do is with the external wireless go this is uh, one that I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it is because I really enjoy using the Rode Wireless Go system. Um, so I'm looking forward to see how it, uh, how it works with the media mod and how well this audio sounds. Okay, so this is with the, the media mod, with the, uh, the, the shotgun style facing towards me with some post correction. Now I'm switching over to the Wireless Go. Okay, so now we're testing it with the Rode Wireless Go. What's cool is um, the external... 3.5 millimeter mic, when you put in the attachment for there, everything happens auto. You don't have to go into the settings and do any adjustments. It, it just picks up that external mic and turns all the feed over to that. So I have the Rode Wireless Go uh, working right now. I have the decibel setting at the medium function on the Rode Wireless Go. I find when I use my GoPros that to be one of the, uh, the better settings, but I, I do want to try uh, the other settings for my own preference uh, i won't show it in here i'll probably list it below if you're interested but uh, but i do want to um, try it in the other wireless go setting decibel levels to see which one i prefer but okay so that was today's test i just was really looking forward to getting this media mod really looking forward to seeing how much of a difference it makes with the audio and uh i mean i love this camera everything it does uh the the quality the compactability the the durableness this camera is amazing and you know i still kept my gopro hero 7 black because i use it for some other uh kind of shots or um some kind of i don't know i, I use it for some other functions as well but uh, but i am really amazed by the gopro hero 8 black i will get the uh the forward facing screen when it's available next month or when you can pre-order it next month who knows when it'll come out maybe march but um until then, I'm glad I got the media mod. So, so that's it. If you do have any other questions on it, or you do want to know something about it that I didn't talk about in today's video, or maybe some other tests you want me to do with it, please go ahead, you know, hit me up below. Ask any questions you want, I'll answer as many as possible. And uh, that's it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I, uh, if you had any questions, hope I answered it. And that's it. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, hit like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Later.